Hi fellow modelers! In the last two episodes we built a Kubel wagon and a nice stage for it. Well, we can leave it as it is and it will be a pretty good display. But I want to go one step further. I will add some figures and some gear to tell a story. And the story is the biggest difference between a simple display and a diorama. Intro. This video will be short. I want to show you how I prepare, build and upgrade figures and gear. I don't have a lot of experience in this field, so I will keep it simple and quick. If you like what you see, tell me that in the comments and we will go deeper in the future. The main drive here will be how you can simply tell a story with some figures and some gear. And another thing, for start you need a good idea, but I can't help you there. Two things I learned. Keep it simple and don't be afraid to copy or borrow others' ideas. Just modify them a little bit. Enough talking, let's dig into it. Now we have our stage and our vehicle. We need some actors. We will quickly add some figures just to check the positions. We will talk about the story later. Well, you already know Gruber, right? He is partially assembled and we can put him on. The other protagonist will be little Helmut. Let's put him on too. Hmm, not looking good. We need some assembly. Let's prepare our figure. We will need a hobby knife with an old dull blade, a flexifile sanding stick and some Tamiya extra tin for smoothing things out. As always, we should check the parts for cutting remains and seam lines. First, we use a scalpel. Gently cut away the remains using the sharp part of the blade. And then finish the work scraping with the non-sharp part. If it's needed, we can use some sanding with the flexifile. A medium one was used in this case. At the end, we can smooth hairy spots with some extra tin from Tamiya. For gluing styrene figures, I like to use Revel Contacta, because it's thick. It gives you a lot of minutes of time for adjusting things and makes a rock solid bond when it's dry. I use some masking paper on a tray for testing the glue flow. If your needle is clogged, just light it up with a fire lighter. Apply a small amount on the part, wait a few seconds and put on the other part. Press firmly together and always check the position. And our little Helmut is done. But wait a minute, we forget the head. Now he have one. And it's really done. I will show some figure modification with Gruber. One hand is missing and we will modify the other two. I will use a hand from the spare box. Now let's cut the hand with the 0.1 mm photo edge saw. We will hollow the jacket. First, do a hole with a 1mm drill bit. Then, enlarge the hole with a bigger drill bit. We dig the plastic out using a scalpel and even bigger drill bits. As always, some smoothing at the end. Here we have some cutted hands. One is from the spare box and the other is Gruber's. We cut some leftovers. It's good to leave the hand as long as possible. We finish the job with the scalpel. Let's do some test fitting. Not bad. When you are happy, put it in place with some CA. You can use some accelerator for instant cure. Now we have some holes to fill here. We will use some Aves epoxy clay, some silicone brushes, a toothpick and some water or saliva from your mouth. Let's mix some clay. Let's take two equal parts of each component. Make two small worms. 
twist the worms together and then knit everything until the color is uniform. Put the ball on your finger, take a small amount with a toothpick and push it in the crevices. For smoothing, wet the silicone brush with some water and go over the part you want to smooth out. Here you can see that we have filled all the crevices. We will also use the clay to fill the missing part of the arm. Take a piece of clay and slowly work it into the hole with a toothpick. When you are happy, again smooth things up with a wet silicone brush. At the end, you can sculpt some folds that follows the uniform. As you can see, I already made one attachment for the sling of the MP40. It's not completely accurate, but who cares, right? I drilled two holes with a 0.3mm drill bit on the back of the gun. Then I inserted a piece of 0.3mm copper wire that I bended on the tweezers. Then a drop of Starbond Tin CA to fix everything. The drop is usually too big and you can suck off the excess with a cotton swab. Trust me, it won't get glued on the part. I picked up some German equipment from my spare box. I decided to put it on a big rucksack or backpack in English. I glue the part with a drop of medium CA glue. And then I secure it with a drop of thin CA glue. This way it's not going anywhere. I also made a gunsling from masking tape and a bucklet from copper wire. I didn't film the process, but if you want, we will do it in the future. Let me know in the comments. I decided to add some reaction boxes that I printed from internet. We cut them out precisely with a sharp blade and a ruler. Then we have some bending to do, photo edge style, with a razor blade. I glue them together using medium CA, but not from the bottle. I was picking up small amounts from the masking tape. And here we have our box. Now it's finally time to present you the actors and to make a story. Here is our Gruber. The hat and the cap are fixed with Patafix because I will paint them separately. This is little Helmut. I made him a toy gun from styrene sheet and a scrap tube from spare box. He also have a Stahlhelm on his head. Let's put Gruber in his Kubelwagen. And Helmut on the sidewalk. Now we will put Gruber's gear in the vehicle. So, the story. Helmut is playing soldiers on the sidewalk. Gruber passes by, he likes what he sees and gives a box of chocolate to Helmut. We will talk about the title and the details in the last episode. For now, this is it. I'm glad that this one is done. As you can see, I was not so sure what I'm doing. But in the end, it don't look so bad. But now, the devil took the jokes away. In the next episode, we will paint and weather the cubal wagon. Let me know in the comments if you want more of this figure gear stuff and I will dig deeper for you. And of course, like, dislike, comment, subscribe, help me grow this channel. Stay tuned.